Narcissism was, you know, def it was, uh, I think, it was designated in the 1970s in that famous book, The Culture of Narcissism. Um, you know, he saw something that nobody was seeing at the time, how narcissistic our culture was coming. I think the selfie is just such an indicative aspect of our, of our civilization. Um, this idea of just taking your own picture. You know, I've never, I've never carried a camera. I've never taken pictures. I don't have any pictures uh, of myself. In, I've been all over the world. I've been in the, you know, I, I, I met the Pope, you know, and, and had a picture with the Pope. And, you know, I've just never had that urge to have these pictures. You know, my wife, because so, some people send us things and she wants to put them up. I said, I don't want them on the wall. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that. And, and I, don't, I don't get that thing about pictures. I, you know, like I, for me, this is where I take my pictures. I, and I try to be present with people and remember them as best I can. And I learned this from the Bedouin because what really struck me about the Bedouin that I lived with is they were so present. And I would meet a Bedouin that I'd met 10 years before. He would remember what we talked about the conversation we had. And, and they don't take pictures because they know. And so this whole obsession with images, uh, the New York Times recently reported that the average American sees more images in one day than a 19th century English person saw in his entire mm -hmm. lifetime. And these images are flooding our hearts. We're losing that, just that space. You know, the imageless space. You know, one of the things when Trajan went into the holiest of holies, the thing that really disturbed him was there was nothing in there. <laughs> you know, and he, and he wanted the Jews to explain, like, where's your idols? Where's your images? It's an empty place. And, 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 and so that emptiness, we have to have that emptiness to, to, to be able to, uh, to contemplate um, and I would recommend reading Neil Postman's incredible book, uh, Amusing Ourselves to Death, and that second chapter about why the Decalogue would have prohibited images. Because he argues that if you want people to understand abstractions, you have to watch out for the images that you give them. Uh, and, and God wants us to know something, a concept that is so abstract. And, and this is why image-based cultures uh, become debased very quickly. Um, so I, I really think the images are, are harming us immensely. Um, the, the pornographic images that are going into the minds of these young kids, um, it's really terrifying because they can't get these things out. You know, they won't be able to get those images out of their mind. And I know this from, I, I have people that have converted to Islam or have these problems, and they've told me when they, just when they open their prayer, images start flooding their, their uh, and, and they want to get rid of them. So it's really difficult. Spiritually, it can be done with a lot of work, but you have to be careful what you put into your heart. And I once, I was with a Bedouin. Uh, we'd gone from the, the, uh, the desert to Nuakshop, and there was a TV in the room, and it was on, and he was looking the other way. And he was a man in his 30s, and he was a student of knowledge. Uh, and he was looking the other way, and I was with a Libyan, uh, Abdul Razak Mukhtar, he's the ambassador in Turkey now for Libya, but he asked him, have you ever seen television? He said, no. He said, don't you want to look at it? And he said, I heard that it has foul things on it, and I, I don't want to let it into my heart. Hmm. And, and you know that wow. level of being is just, where are those people?